Last episode was quite a success, probably my favorite episode to film so far, but actually in really good timing because in a couple of Sims days, Tiana will age up to a young adult and that is when her gen will officially start, which means she'll take over the restaurant, we will probably move her out of the family home and start working on like her aspiration and all of her skills and maybe even getting pregnant soon. So yeah, it's really starting to ramp up right now. So there's a lot to do today. Let's just jump right in. Okay, so it is 2.30 a.m. on a Friday morning. Why do I always start these episodes in the middle of the night? It always just seems to be where we start at the beginning of an episode. <laughs> is that because I'm setting my Sims to bed so late? Cinderella is out here cooking a barbecue, just normal things. I think I'm gonna send all of them to bed and then let's figure out what we are doing today. Okay, so I seem to remember that Tiana has only one prom left, which is in two days on the Saturday. And she's aging up in four days to a young adult. So we do have school today. This is actually the exams. <gasps> We haven't done the homework yet. Wake up, wake up. We haven't done homework. I don't even know if we've revised. Have we revised? Oh, we think we did actually revise for our exam because that's what helped us get over our phobia. But we, aww, we need to finish our homework for sure. And then we have a daily, we're just forgetting chess club. I actually don't know how to cancel a uh, chess club, to be honest. I don't know how to leave it. So this is probably gonna be our last episode with Tiana as a teen. And then from next episode, she's gonna age up to a young adult and we will move her straight out of her house and into her own place to take over the restaurant. And then eventually get married and have a partner. Let's make the most of her being a teen for today. So we got school in a few hours. Let's wake everybody up. Ooh, it's love day. Okay, what does that mean? We need to get romance. I forgot the name of our of our guy, Sydney. We need to get our romance on with Sydney. We had a really nice date the end of last episode at our restaurant. And I'm thinking we go back there, but maybe do a little bit more work. Maybe Sydney and I can use that as a bit of a hangout spot at the end of school every day and help Zion out with the restaurant and, and also eat food, right? I do need to build up my friendship though. So let's text some of our friends and find out what they're doing. <gasps> Post about preparing for prom. Happy narrative. New message to Sandra. Let's do friendly. New message to Kevin. Friendly. Oh, I forgot I rejected them at the end of last episode. And Ricardo. I forgot about that. Oh, that, that was really awkward. That was not a good situation. I'm hoping I can kind of save that relationship though. All right, we're off to school. It's time for exams. Okay, who have we got here? Anyone that we recognize? Wait, where are all my friends? None of my friends are here. Oh, is that Sydney? Yes, there you are. Okay, anyone else? No. I, I don't like that there's a different lineup of students every day. It just doesn't really make sense to me. It should be the same kids every single day. All right, Sydney, let's say hi to you. Deep conversation. Oh, give love day gift. Let's give you a handmade promposal sign. Even though he's already coming with me, he asked me, I'll still give him the sign that I made. Oh, I love that they are just immediately flirty as well. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so let's go and study for our exams just to be safe. I can't remember what we have and haven't done. I'm also playing two high school gameplays at the moment. We're doing one over on Twitch. So if I ever say anything wrong or get things confused, please just correct me because um, I'm probably just confusing it with our other gameplay. All right, it is exam time and let's see what Tiana's mood is. She's feeling very confident right now, which can only work in our favor. This is... Oh. No, I take that back. <laughs> Never mind. Well, Sydney's in our class, which is good. He's a little bit late to the exams, but maybe he's a fast worker. All right, first exam is done, but we still have a little bit of more of studying to do. So let's quickly do that now. All right, it's time for exam two to start. Sydney is the first in class. Good for you, Sydney. You even beat the teacher. Am I gonna sit next to him? <gasps> Are you gonna sit next to him? No. This is it. This is our last exam of this of the week. Actually, you know what? This might be our last exam full stop. Hang on, that's strange because we will age up on like a Tuesday or Wednesday. So does that mean, well, we're still a high school B student. Hopefully we can get to an A. <gasps> Two minutes and we're done. All right, what are our results? Exams are finally over. The day was grueling and the questions were fierce, but the day is finally done. Tiana did pretty well in her exams. Oh, wait, is that not? 
No. Is that not a full mark situation? Is it really that hard to get an A? High school check grades. Tiana logged on to Copperdale High School website. Tiana has about a B average. Actually, that's better than average. <laughs> that's such a shame. I was hoping she would be an A. I don't know if it's possible now to get an A. But all right, let's 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 spend maybe an hour here making friends with uh, Ricardo again. Discuss interests and knock knock joke because we need we need a best friend for when we age up. Although, you know what? It's actually going to be kind of interesting because I don't know if all of these people will age up with me. So maybe it's it's worth just having a best friend as a young adult. <gasps> Ooh, playful. Astaplane Fountain. Oh, hi, Sydney. And these two are going down to play in the fountain, which is good. It's a bit of a shame that none of our other friends showed up to school today. I didn't even know you could interact with the fountain this way. Set color and intensity. Let's do a green fountain. Add soap. No, let's toss a coin. We're gonna make a wish. Oh, that's cute. Look at these two. Come and join the fun at the cheerleading team sports. Oh, maybe that's where our friends are. Is this where you all are? Where is everybody? Where is the team? <gasps> oh my god! Sydney! I thought you would never ask. Oh my goodness! He really wants to move things quickly. Well, I was kind of hoping that you would ask me at prom, Sydney, but of course. I will be your girlfriend. I love that he asked her. Wait, where is she now? Oh my goodness, I forgot about the New Year's resolution. Tiana completed her resolution of getting a significant other. Yay! I knew we were rushing it, but I actually forgot that we had a New Year's resolution to keep, but we did it! We did it! I kind of think Sydney will be here. Sydney's on the cheer team, I think, right? Yes, there he is! Oh, Tiana, why are you raging? <laughs> Let's get a photo of Sydney in his outfit. Take photo of Sydney. Aww! One of these. Sydney, look at you! Looks so cool in his cheer outfit. <laughs> I love these poses. All right, it's 10 to seven. I'm gonna meet Sydney, I think at the restaurant tonight. Okay, so now we are playing Zion here to get into an everyday outfit and then head over to work. It's a little bit of a long way to do this, but now we can open the restaurant because Zion is here and then we can bring Tiana over here, bring Tiana White. <laughs> She's always raging, always raging, which is so weird because no nothing red is showing up here. And now we can invite over Sydney. Ooh, you know what? I might invite some of my friends as well. We can do a big Friday night hangout. Let's invite Ricardo and Kevin. And who was our... Sandro. Oh my goodness, look who's coming to the restaurant. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm not even surprised considering the first ever customer that we had to the restaurant was a werewolf. This is a good day to open the restaurant though because Zion should make a lot of money on love day for date night. Right, Brighton day, smooth apology. Okay, yeah, she maybe can ap apologize for rejecting her. <gasps> Zion, I think you need to run away. No, just kick him out. Oh my God, this is such an eventful love day. What is happening? <laughs> What the heck is happening? Oh my God, can please someone explain what's happening? I'm scared to press play. What is going on? Sydney, Kevin, and our chef. What's happening? Are they alive? Why I'm so... Tell joke about vampires. What is going on? Somebody kick the werewolf out. What the heck is happening to these two? I'm genuinely so confused. Are they just asleep? Like, is this a weird glitch or is it related to the werewolf? I'm stressed, I don't understand. And also it has to be our best friend and our boyfriend. Of course, it couldn't just be like strangers. Oh my goodness, there's loads of them. What is going on? I love how like, they're just like casually having a conversation. I don't understand. No, I'm sorry, I'm so confused. What are these two do? <gasps> What, what, what was that about? Wait, so he is alive. Oh, go here together. What the heck is going on in this restaurant? I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm speechless right now. Like no wonder Zion is having a failing restaurant. If he's inviting or allowing werewolves to get tables at his restaurant, people are not gonna come. Oh my goodness, this is a disaster. I can't even get rid of them. <laughs> this is the weirdest Friday night I think I've ever witnessed. All right, we're closing this restaurant, close it. Get, okay, well we lost money, that's fine. I don't even care anymore. Just get those werewolves away. I don't even get 
get it. I do not even get it. All right, well, that was a complete disaster. So I'm just, I'm just gonna go home myself and send Zion home because I don't even know. I'm stressed. That was just a very weird 20 minutes. My Sims just go to sleep so late. So it is 2 a.m. Tiana's only just going to bed. Zion's going to bed now. Tomorrow we have a fun day. Prom starts, I think around 6 p.m. at night. And what we did over on Twitch was had a bit of a spa day just leading up to the prom. So we're gonna have Tiana invite over her friends to go to one of the spas together. And they can get facials, manicures, and maybe some massages. So maybe let's aim to go around 11 o'clock. All right, everyone is up Saturday morning having brunch together and then Tiana's gonna go off um, and join her friends at the spa. And then I think Cinderella and Zion are just gonna have a relaxing weekend. Zion will probably open the restaurant tonight whilst we're at prom. But I am happy now at having Tiana take over the restaurant at two and a half stars. Basically, we need to really improve the skills of our staff. We need to train them. We need to do renovations of the restaurant. So there's actually a lot that Tiana can do when she takes it over. Okay, now let's go to the spa with Sandra, Ricardo, and Sydney and Kevin. That is a lot to control though. Maybe that's too much. Maybe let's not go with Sydney and then we can just meet Sydney there. All right, we're heading over to the Perfect Balance Spa, which is actually a Maxis lot. It's already in your gallery by default if you own Spa Day, sorry, and you can just go down and place it anywhere you want. It was actually so much fun when we did this over on Twitch. So first thing, we're gonna go over here and change into a robe. It's a really pretty spa though. It looks super relaxing. Okay, then we can go upstairs. Oh, a mind concentrating yoga classes beginning in 30 minutes. <gasps> Oh my God, yeah, let's do it. Join mind concentrating class, 110 simoleons. Yes! Are they doing it with me? I think Kevin is gonna do it with me. Oh my God, this is so fun. What a great way to start prom. Nice and relaxed. Oh, that's amazing. We're all doing it together. I'm so excited for this to start. Ooh. I don't even know what her fitness skill is. I think it's pretty low, actually. We haven't done any morning jogs with Cinderella. Oh, someone's calling us. Oh my God, that looks so good. Feet together. I do love yoga. When I, when I get in the mood to do yoga, I'll do it consistently for like, I don't know, a couple weeks every morning. I haven't done it in a while though, but I did used to do it a lot. Oh my goodness, do you see the werewolf ice skating in the back, in the background? <laughs> or not ice skating, but rollerblading? <laughs> They're following me. Oh, Tiana. Tiana, catch up. She's getting distracted. Oh, damn. Okay, Ricardo. Tana's not even gonna try. <laughs> not for her. Oh, this looks so relaxing though. Okay, so when we finish that class, we still have about four hours. I think we should go and get... <sighs> Let's go and get our, our nails done. Request manicure. <gasps> this looks so relaxing. Oh my God, I'm so glad we did that class. Oh my God, I'm asleep. That would be me. That would so be me. Yay, level two of the wellness skill. I forgot it's the wellness skill, not the fitness skill. Oh my goodness, leave. Go away. Oh wait, what color is her dress? I'm gonna assume it's green. So maybe we can get a, a green nail polish. Yeah, let's do a matte green. <gasps> Ooh, I love it. This is in tab mode, by the way. You can have the app from the eye of your... um of your sim. What a luxury. This is such a nice way to start prom. Oh, all done. Look at the nails. Oh, they look so good. I think they're a little bit brighter than the dress, but green was the right choice. She looks great. All right, time to go home and then let's get ready for prom. Oh, wait, is it formal or is it party wear for prom? I think it's formal wear. So let's wear our green dress. <gasps> Oh my goodness, she looks like a Disney princess with the green nails. Oh my gosh, she looks gorgeous in this dress. Cinderella's asking all the questions about Sydney, even though they have met actually at the dinner, at the dinner party. <gasps> Yay! Prom is starting, it's time for prom. Get dressed up, rock the dance floor with other high school students. Will you attend? Yes. Oh my God, I love what Sydney's wearing. I love how they all go straight to the dance floor. Oh, he's saying how beautiful she looks. All right, let's come over here and take selfie with Sydney. 
Do we, do we have any other friends here? Ricardo's here and Kevin. All of the friends. Okay, so we have a few things we need to do. Vote for prom royalty, show off outfit, and dance. Come over here and vote for prom jester. Mm, I don't really know. I don't really know anyone here. Maybe, maybe one of my friends. Maybe Kevin or Ricardo. Let's do Ricardo. And then prom royalty, gotta be Sydney. <gasps> It's starting! Watch the awards ceremony. The moment of truth. Are we gonna win prom king and queen? I highly doubt it. I don't think we're particularly liked, considering I rejected half the school. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm happy to announce the following winners. Prom royalty is Sydney Price, and prom jester is Ricardo Bailey. No way. Wait, am I friends with the cool kids? Am I in the cool crowd without even realizing? <gasps> Yay, Sydney! Wait, prom is over? No! I think prom goes by way too quickly. I remember this from our Twitch stream. It flies by. We're already now going over to the after party. Yes. So let's invite Kevin, Ricardo, and Sydney. Although I think I'm gonna be kind of out of my comfort zone at the after party. I think prom was really fun to go to because I had the support of Sydney. But I, I think maybe as more of an introvert, Tiana would be ready to go home now. But I think Sydney's a little bit more outgoing and would encourage her to want to go to the party afterwards and stay even for like an hour. Ooh, okay, wait, where's this after party? We're at the pier, but where? All right, I think we should ride Ferris wheel with Sydney. Oh, this is such a fun place to come for an after party. Right, I think we should all order some some food, some celebratory mint chocolate chip ice cream. So I would love some of that right now. I'm so happy that my two friends won prom royalty. That's so fun. All right, it's 3 a.m. We really do need to leave, but that was such a success for Tiana. I think she feels really out of her comfort zone after quite a heavy night of socializing, but she couldn't have done it without Sydney. Sydney definitely, I think, brings out that side to her. And I I think she maybe is feeling quite proud that she was able to push herself out of her comfort zone. I think in the same way that a best friend would kind of encourage her to do wild things, I think Sydney definitely does that as well. So let's send them all to sleep. I'm not sure what we're gonna do tomorrow on Sunday, but I believe, is that? Yeah, we have two days, which means Tiana's gonna age up on Monday. So we have one more day left as a family before Tiana graduates school. All right, what are we gonna do today, friends? Should we spend a day at the restaurant? Should we go to a market? Like what activities are happening today? Is there a way to find out on an events board? Maybe it's here. Okay, the starlight accolades are tonight. Oh, there's a flea market! Perfect. Let's go to the flea market. Shop for trash or treasure. Set up a shop. Oh, find snow globes and posters and trade. Oh my goodness, we so need to do this. Or the festival of youth. No, let's do the flea market. This is our last one. In the city, I think we should set up our shop. It feels like a good day for Cinderella to work her magic. We have, oh, we only have one in the inventory. Okay, how quickly can we do some cross-stitching? Oh, look at the two of them. Definitely bonding over cross-stitching together. All right, we have five in our inventory and quite a few random things. So let's head there together as a family and go and check out the flea market. All right, we're at the flea market. Oh, love this candelabra, very Disney. And we need a stall. So let's claim this one maybe. I don't know how this works. Flower. Oh no! <gasps> rude! Oh my goodness, rude! All right, I'm dragging them onto the other one. If anyone takes my table before I get a chance to tend it. Stock table. Oh, you go, Cinderella. We know that she's good at this. This is her specialty. Markup prices, 300% start street sale. <gasps> Look who's busking! Molly! I recognize you. I see you there. Ooh, Tiana has taken her first steps on her culinary journey in the city. Maybe she moves to the city, you know, that could be really interesting to explore the all the different food. Okay, Tiana's gonna buy something from every stall so that she expands her taste palette. Oh, and then maybe we can pack everything into a sack lunch. Yes. Yes, that's perfect. Ooh, so far Tiana has discovered two of the 27 recipes available in the city. I think it could be fun to move her into the city. I don't know, there's something about the, like, the hustle and bustle here, which could lend itself well to Tiana's dream of, well, no, she's soon gonna, she is gonna take over the restaurant, but I guess the culinary journey and the culinary missions that we can do here. I would love to know what you all think, where we should move Tiana from next episode. When she ages up, at this, probably the start of next episode, where we should move her. 
whatever. We're selling things really slowly here though. I'm not too sure why. Definitely a lot slower than when we would do it on the side of the street, which is kind of weird and not what you would expect. Come on, Anastasia, you definitely want something. How can you resist? Look how awful these are though. They're tiny. <laughs> these I think are really low quality. Well, this is not going that good to be honest. Our festival is ending in one hour and I think we've only sold one. Oh, Drizella showed up now as well, but Cinderella's just not on her A-game today. And Zion is... <laughs> oh, Zion's at the bar. I think we need to go. Cinderella, I'm sorry, this is not working. It's really, it's not your best. So we're gonna clear the table, put everything back in your inventory, and I think it's time to go home. I think that was a nice last couple of days for Tiana before she ages up tomorrow, but I am excited now to move her out of this family home and really focus on her. So we have to work on her culinary master chef aspiration, all of her skills. We need the gourmet cooking to go up. We also need to take over the restaurant, but actually also let me know where you think she should move to. Do you see it as an apartment? Do you see it as a little house? I think we'll probably invite Sydney to move in after a couple of days and then figure out the marriage situation a little bit later and also get pregnant, all of that good stuff. And, and yeah, then we are well on our way into gen three. I am enjoying this so much. I feel like we go through a roller coaster together. Some episodes feel so frustrating and then others are just so rewarding. So we're in it together, but I will see you all in the next episode. Bye. Bye.